Oh hey, what's up you guys, how's it going? It's Papa, and today we're gonna to be profiling my fifth place Alter Guys deck list that I took to YBM Locals. And I just got home not that long ago, but I did wanna say that the deck was really good. Uh, my only loss was the Hero. Uh, other than that, I went 3-1 at Locals. And uh, yeah, it was a little unfortunate, but my opponent just had everything. Like I even resolved a Wave the Dragon to summon out my Avermax, and I got hit by Regeki. I uh, still ended up winning that game, but I just got out-resourced and I just couldn't see an Alter Guys monster or Alter Guys trap for even. Um, couldn't get there, but nevertheless, the deck did really good, and I wanted to just go ahead and show it off to you guys because it's been a while since I played something other than Phantom Knight. Uh, last week, I took Trap Tricks uh, Amazement. Let me know if you want to see a deck profile on that. I ended up going two and two, so just let me know again if you want to see it. But if until the meantime, I have Alter Guys here for you, so I'll just go ahead and get into the profile. So for the main deck, I played three Marionetter. I uh, shouldn't have to really explain this lineup too much. It's what you see in every list. Three Faker, three Melusik, uh, two Silk, and one Concurry. Uh, this is your standard lineup. If you're not playing this ratio, then you're probably doing something wrong. For Hand Traps, I've only played two Ash because I ended up playing three Valor for the tournament. Uh, Valor was amazing. Uh, Ash I only saw once, and it, it was really good because I was able to um, stop a, uh, what's it called? Uh, stop a Pot of Desires with it, and it ended up winning me the game. But for the most part, I didn't see Ash, and I didn't really want to see Ash. It was mainly in here to stop Red Eyes Fusion, but otherwise I probably wouldn't have cut, or I probably wouldn't have played it if Red Eyes Fusion wasn't a worry. I would have just played the three Valor and played a couple more traps, but we'll get into the traps when I get into that, or when we get there. But overall, it was a good lineup. I think this was fine for the monster ratio of the deck. So 17 monsters, and then we only played three spells, we only played three Pot of Prosperity. I shouldn't have to say how good this card is, just being able to dig into what you need is broken, and that happened plenty of times during the tournament. For traps. I played three copies of Psalm Strike. This shouldn't have come as a surprise. Uh, resolving a strike and then multi-faker after is insane. Uh, three Broken Line. This was a tech choice, I guess, per se, because you don't really see people playing this card anymore after pack uh, topped with it. Uh, I think it's really just depending on your own success. But I like this card a lot because going first and second, it's really good. You just set this underneath uh, the extra monster zone when you're going second. Uh, that your Link Rebo's not in, or whatever you use to summon uh, to get your search for multi-faker. So a lot of times today, I would summon my Link Rebo here, and then I would take the Broken Line, set it underneath the other monster zone, and then when my opponent would summon, I would just negate the effect and destroy it. Like, this hit Anaconda, and it won me the game doing that. And then uh, the other broken part was uh, uh, whenever my opponent would have a negate, and I'm going second, I would set it up underneath whatever that negate was, uh, I'd go Torrential, or I'd go uh, Imperm, and they'd go Negate, and I'd go Broken Line, and then they just lose. Like, this faded out, or this was able to get rid of a Herald of Ultimateness, too, because he can't respond since it's a counter trap. So, it's just really good. I, I really enjoyed this card a lot. I think I'll play it going forward just because of the versatility that it has for going first and going second. Uh, it did get sided out once, though, uh, just because the matchup I was playing against wasn't really that good. But yeah, three broken line, uh, three infinite impermanence. This card was insane. Uh, I opened up multi faker imperm twice today, and every time I resolved it, I won. So that was broken there. And then I only played two torrential, but that's because I decided to max out on crackdown in the main deck. So you see a lot of people that play trap decks not play crackdown anymore this card is actually just insane being able to take your opponent's monster and then use it to make monsters in your extra deck was just really good uh that never came up for me today though just because uh, what i would do for the most part was just take it and then i would um uh, i would either not be able to get to the point where my opponent would keep playing or they would uh, pop it and then they got control of their monster back but Crackdown is really good. It was able to stop a lot of uh, players today. So I think going forward, I'll definitely keep this at three. I do want to find room for Torrential. I might cut some cards to make room if I do continue playing it going forward. But yeah, this card was insane. And then uh, for non-Alter Guys traps, I, uh, for 
yeah, for the rest of the traps, I played the one Imperial Order. Uh, I saw it a couple times, but I only activated it once because uh, it just didn't really matter because my opponent didn't really have a lot of spells to activate, and it just never came up enough. And then the last cards I played were the Alter Guest Traps. So this is going to look weird, but I played two spoofing. I don't like three. I, it's just bad because if you open up multiple of this, you can't shuffle it off since it doesn't say Alter Guest spoofing. If it did, then this card would definitely be at three. This card would be probably the best card in the deck. Uh, it's really good, but it's also really bad because you shuffle for costs, and then if your opponent responds, then you're kind of losing. Uh, two spoofing, or not spoofing, uh, two protocol. I did want to play one of this. One of this got sided out a lot, but you just need it there to ensure your game one. And then the last card I played was Manifestation. This card was really good. Uh, I kind of wish I played a second one and probably cut, like, um, maybe a broken line or, like, maybe a crackdown to fit a second one if it came up. But the one was good. I was able to recycle it with uh, Sokoidus. So it's a 40-card main deck. I was going to play 41 if I played the third Torrential, but I really wanted to keep it at 40. And then for the extra deck, we play... Uh, not that. Uh, three copies of Hextia. Shouldn't come as a surprise. I ended up banishing one of these off of Prosperity every time. Uh, Almirage, Double Link Haribo, Anima, and Artemis. So I actually didn't play Seeker Village. Uh, I didn't have that card, and even if I did, I don't know like if I was going to keep playing it, because I just played uh, more cards to stop spells other than just a field spell because I want to open up traps because traps will definitely ensure your game still a lot better than just a regular field spell so I definitely didn't you don't need to play this this would either be like a third link rebo or a second anima but that's only if you're not playing secret village and then I played the Halka Fibrex engine so I played the Halk, uh, Selene, and the Axis Code to ensure game. This is how I was able to come back from against my hero opponent because I just uh, normal summon the Veiler uh, was able to uh, summon back out another card uh, to make your Halka Fibrax and then he was just dead from there. Uh, Nightmare Unicorn. This is just here to make off a of crackdown but it never came up. Uh, Ningirsu. This is to out Dragoon but I don't think anyone was really playing Dragoon today except for the Drytron player I played against. And uh, he was able to make it against me, but I was able to still win, so that was good. And then Avermax as a Waking the Dragon target. I did summon this once, but again, it got hit by Regeki, so it didn't really matter. And then Last Warrior from Another Planet also for um, Waking the Dragon. I was going to summon this against the hero player, but he already had a Dark Wall, so all he had to do was attack over it, and he would and he would have been gone. So I just made the Avermax. But again, Regeki's too good. So that's the extra deck. And then for the side deck, I played one Panker Tops just as like a going second card because this deck has a hard time going second. Uh, three Alpha for in case I uh, went up against Dragoon, but it was good. Or I mean, I never, like, it was good in theory. I never sided it in against any of those decks. I think I might have sided it in once against Hero, and that was just because I wanted to have an out to Dark Wall just by summoning it, so I would just summon it, attack, and then bounce. But I never saw it, so it didn't really matter. Uh, three evenly for like other trap decks that I might have played against if I did see them, but I didn't. So just those. Uh, three judgment for when you go first. This card's awful going second, so I don't main deck it. Uh, two fragrance. This was good. Like, I was able to stall with this card. I mean, you shouldn't stall anyway. It's a really bad way of winning. But uh, sometimes it's just all you need to be able to get to where you need to. Uh, two Waking the Dragon. Don't play three of this. I don't think it's really necessary at three. But my opponent was able to uh, go Stratos and then pop two cards that I had. And it was a Dead Judgment and a Waking the Dragon. So I was able to summon from there. But still ended up winning. And then last card I played was Harpy's Feather Duster. Uh, it was just in case I went up against back row again. Or this is really good against Triad Brigade too. I sided this in against Triad Brigade, but it didn't matter because it was uh, not useful. And yeah, that's the deck. So let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. My matchups were uh, one Triad Brigade, uh, two Drytron, and uh, 
or no, not two Drytron. I went against uh, Prank Kids, uh, Tri Brigade, Drytron, and Hero. My only loss was to Hero, but I was able to beat all the other matchups, which was very shocking because I literally made this deck uh, the night before. So I didn't really expect to do too well with it, but after playing with it and being able to be the player I was with it, it was really good. And I'm really glad I played this deck. I've always put this deck together and then end up putting it back away because I don't feel confident with it. I just feel like, you know, there's better decks. But I was able to take it this time and I ended up doing pretty well with it. So I don't know if I'm going to be playing it anytime soon, but if I do decide to, I definitely have a better like confidence feel with it. But yeah, until next time, guys, this has been Papa, and I will catch you all in my next video. Take care, everyone.